Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Hello, boys and girls. This is Ranger Bill. I guess you know me by now, but in case you don't, then we can get acquainted while I tell you a story of the Old West, brought up to date in a new and strange way. A way that took a lot of figuring out. I suppose that most of us, when somebody mentions the West, well, we think of cowboys and cattle and cattle rustlers. Rustle is an old, old American slang word that meant to borrow something that wasn't yours, usually late at night. And it also meant that when you borrowed it, you had no intention of returning it. Of course, cattle rustling hasn't really gone on for many, many years now. Modern systems of communication sort of automatically put a stop to it. But even so, we found ourselves confronted with that very thing. It all happened just a little while ago in the story I call The Cattle Rustlers of Coconino. You over there, Dark? Been here half an hour. I had some trouble with a couple of strays. Rough work, one man riding herd on this many cattle. Well, get on with it. We ain't got all night. I'll get them centered in a minute or two. You got everything ready? Sure. All right. Steady now. Here they come. Yeah! Hey, 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 yeah! Yeah! See anything of them over there? No. Not a sign, Joe. I simply can't understand it. I can't understand it. We've rid up and down and backwards and forwards across this whole section of the range all day long, and nary a sign of them cattle. Ah, it's hard to figure out, Joe. Maybe they ran off. Run off? Run off to where? Cattle ain't gonna run away from water. Even steers got that much sense. Coconino Creek is the only water for 40 miles in any direction. Well, there's a, there's a couple of sloughs here and there. At this time of the year, every last slough has been dried up for weeks, and you know it. Well... Well, maybe they're around somewhere. Where? Answer me that. This isn't the year 1840, Jack. This is now. I've never... I've had every rancher alerted by ranch radio communications. The Cattlemen's Protective Association is on the lookout. Nobody has seen hiding or hair of them cattle. Why, if this was 100 years ago or even 50 years ago, I'd say... I'd say them cattle been took by rustlers. There ain't no more cattle rustlers. We know that. But what we also know is them cattle is gone. along on this trip. Uh, how's your cold coming along, Stumpy? Well, this drying weather is helping some. <laughs> hey, uh, have you ever been here before? Yep. This here is some of the best uh, wildest cattle country left in the whole West. <laughs> Do you mean wild cattle or wild country? <laughs> yeah, both. This here is Coconino County. About a million square miles of nothing. A million? Well, uh, don't pin me down. It's mighty big anyways. Uh, way back when I was a youngin', this used to be called uh, Cattle Rustler's Haven. Whatever for? Oh, the herds was bigger then. No law enforcement around to bother the rustlers. They not much anyway. Uh, and, uh, no radio, no jeeps, and well, no telephones. That's right. Uh, Man, rustlers just about had it their own way. Yeah, naturally, things are different now. Uh, rustlers is things of the past. Yeah, Huh? With modern methods of communication and everything, why, a cattle rustler, he wouldn't stand a chance. 
Hey, hey, look, a whirly bird. Huh? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where? yeah, one of them egg beaters. Oh. Oh, what's it doing out here? That there, Henry, right there before your very eyes is modern-day ranching at its best. Oh, what do you mean? That there heliocopter belongs to the Jackson brothers. They're twins, they be. Identical twins. All this land hereabouts, birds you can see in any direction. And then some is their ranch, the Big J. Big J? Yep. See their names, uh, Joe and Jack Jackson, the three J's. Oh. Uh, so, so their brand is just a Big J. Uh, Get it? Sure, it's, it's easy to make and it's easy to see. Yeah, oh, I can even see some from here. Boy, those steers are a long way off. Ha, left rear flank, the Big J. Uh, Derek Beaver's coming over this way. He must have spotted us. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those steers run when that helicopter flies near them. Yes, sir. Uh, that there uh, beats any system of herding cattle I ever seen. Well, they could run a herd in any direction you wanted, in any place you wanted. Never get near the cattle. Do it quicker and faster and better. Hey, look at that bird. <laughs> yeah. Waving. Hey, look, yeah, he waved at us. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, checking up on things, I guess. Yeah, that's Jack. Uh, them two twins can check on water and where the herds is gathered and sort of oversee the whole ranch and do in a day what used to take weeks. Well, don't they use the helicopter to herd cattle with? Nope. They'd run them ragged. <laughs> just the same. It looks just exactly as though he was herding that one bunch of cattle. He's herding them over there toward that clump of cottonwoods. Yeah, impossible, Henry. Can't be did. Come on, I'll race you back. There. Got him in there. Say, you were as early tonight. I didn't hardly get here in time. Uh, I had all them little doggies all herded up real nice. Bunched up real good, just over the rise there. Just standing around and waiting for their friend, Mr. Dark. Uh, how come you could have them waiting in one spot? Well, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Well, when you'll be back? Well, I don't know. We I mean, better wait a while. I don't want to overdo it. And besides, the full moon is coming. Better wait until the nights get dark again. Yeah. If you're gonna do business with dark, it's gotta be dark. Jack, this thing is getting me down. I'm getting gray hairs over it. Little by little, maybe 20 or 30 at a time, our steers are disappearing. And yet nobody has any idea where they are, where they're going, or where they're gone. Yeah, it sure is a mystery. We do have some mighty big herds, but at this rate, if that keeps up... If it was those rustlers, we'd have some clue, that's for sure. Yeah. Say... What? I have an idea. That forest ranger fellow is here in these parts. I've heard tell of him. Carries a reputation of being a mighty smart outdoorsman. Bill something or other his name is. Why don't we go to see him? Now, oh, what for? What good would that do, Joe? There's no sense dragging him into all this. Nope. My mind is made up. We're going to go pay a call on that forest ranger. We'd like to introduce ourselves. We're the Jackson brothers. I'm Joe, and this here is my twin brother, Jack. Hi, fellas. I'm glad to meet you. I've heard about you. Uh, how do you tell which is which? <laughs> no way, I guess. <laughs> Jack here is left-handed, and I'm right-handed, but otherwise we look and act exactly alike. I see. Well, what's on your minds, gentlemen? We have trouble on our minds. Mm -hmm. It's like this. I still don't see no reason to bother the ranger with all oh, this. Oh, no trouble at all. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Jackson. Well, we have the biggest ranch in Coconito County. Never any belly aches. But lately, well, I can hardly believe it when I say it. Lately, we've been losing cattle. Losing cattle? That's it. Every week or so, some will be gone. We mm -hmm. keep a pretty regular count, you know. Our riders report in. And lately, cattle have just been, well, they've just been disappearing. Running away? Nope. We'd have got reports from other ranchers. These cattle have just vanished. And no clue of any sort? No, nothing. Hmm. Sounds like rustlers at work. But the day of the rustler is gone. Why, there just ain't no way to rustle cattle nowadays without getting caught. Ain't that right, Jack? Yeah, right. So we come over here to see if maybe you could help us out. Well, I'd be happy to be of service, but offhand, I'd say this is something I'd have to investigate. Um... Uh, 
Mind if I pay a few visits to your ranch, ask a few questions? Uh, it's a big ranch. It's hard to find people to ask. I'll manage. Well, Mr. Jackson and uh, Mr. Jackson, I'll be visiting you one of these days. And until then, I suggest both of you keep a sharp eye out. <laughs> That's the story, Ralph. What do you make of it? Well, no tracks on the ground, that's for sure. The ground's too hard, and the wind must have covered them over. How about the brand? Well, they use a simple one, just a capital J. Well, hot iron brand or chemical? Chemical. Sort of paint it on, and then... Uh... Yeah, I know. It's easy to change a chemical brand to make it look like something else. Yeah, but no strange cattle and no off-brand cattle have been reported. Well, they were probably shipped out of state and checked at the state line. Sure, and the shipping records show nothing. Yeah. Something funny about this... Ralph, those cattle are still somewhere in this state. But where and why and how and what for? Well, that's what we've got to find out. Nice of you to show me around, Mr. Jackson. Just call me Joe. Okay. Uh, Bill was coming out to your ranch today, so well, I asked if I could come along. Anytime, anytime. Uh, ain't that a pretty sight, though? Them red steers and way off them purple mountains. Yeah. Nice fat steers, too. Hey, let's walk over toward that bunch right over there. Okay. A uh, fella don't enjoy looking at a herd of white faces, just don't appreciate what's downright pretty. Just look at them steers. Red hides are shining in the sunlight. Why, it's a picture no artist could paint. Hey, Joe, that, that steer, he's coming right for us. Yeah, I reckon he is at that. Well, well, hadn't we better run? Nah, that's Ferdinand, Henry. Good old Ferdinand. Found him out on the range one bitter cold spring night. He lost his mama. He had, so I raised him up on a bottle until he got big enough to shift for himself. He never forgot it, though. Well, he is walking right up to you. Sure, he knows me, and I know him. I'd recognize him in a hundred steers. Hi, Ferdinand. Wanted to have your head scratched, huh? That's it. Good fella. Any a dandy? Ah, well, he, he looks pretty big. Close up like that. Maybe I better scratch his head, too, just so he knows that, uh, well, I like him, too. Huh? Here, here, Ferdinand. Nice, Ferdinand. Dark, is it okay to talk? Huh, so it's you. What's on your mind? Well, how about tomorrow night? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Same time, same place? All right, but listen. What? Tomorrow night's got to be the last night. I can't keep shoving them cattle around forever, you know. When are you going to get on with the second part of your plan? Soon. Soon, Dark. Soon. Huh. Tomorrow night, then. So long. Yeah, so long. <laughs> clock on the wall says it's about bedtime. I'm going to hit the sack. You too, Jack? Ah, I'm going range riding. Tonight? Sure. I thought I'd ride around for a couple hours. Maybe I can spot something wrong. Find out what's happened to our cattle. But you've been out night after night, Jack. and ain't found nothing. Hey, want me to come along and keep you company? Uh, no. Uh, no, you, you stay here right at the ranch. Well, maybe you're right at that. Good afternoon. Sounds like the ranger. Come in, come in. Hi. Hope you don't mind such a late caller. Always glad to see you, Bill. What can we do you for? I was out riding around, just looking. Saw your light, stopped in. Looking? Uh, for what? Oh, don't know for sure. Like you, I'm doing all I can to solve the mystery of where your cattle have gone. Jack here was just this minute ready to get on his horse and go out range riding to see if he could spot trouble. Oh. Yeah. Well, then, uh, why don't we ride together? It's a dark night, no moon, uh... A good night for cattle to vanish. Now, who said any cattle is going to vanish tonight? Why, uh, nobody. Jack would be delighted to have you along. Ain't that so, Jack? Jack? Uh, I don't like to take the ranger's time. 
Besides, it's real late. Uh, he'd be glad to have you along, Bill. Well, let's get started, then. Dark. What? What, what? What'd you say? I said it was dark. Dark night. Oh. Oh, y- yes. Yeah. Well, let's ride down toward that big swale up ahead. Swell is where a cattle like to bunch up at night. No. Uh, well, there's no use going down there. I've been down there night after night. There's no cattle down there. And the grass is always better than a swale. Brown's lower. Let's take a canter down there just for fun. I tell you, there's no cattle down there. Well, after all, it, it is your ranch. You want to know where... Hey, Jack. There, there is something down there in that swale. I just saw a flicker of light. Looked like somebody lighting a match. Ah. Uh... Out of these flatlands... A dark night like this one, you can see the flare of a match for nearly a mile. That light was a long way off, but it was down in that swale. Come on, let's hurry over there. No, I didn't see no light. Well, firefly, most likely. I, I've been watching over this way, anyways. Hey! Pull this way, Bill! Not toward the swale, away from the swale! Rustlers! Cattle rustlers! I'll fire on them! Over this way, Bill! Come on! Come on, over this way! Rustlers! Cattle need! Look out! Here we come! Here comes the forest ranger! We got you! Burn. Well, not, nothing here. They must have got uh, clean away. Yeah. I seen shapes, and I heard voices. Right over in this direction. Well, that's why I didn't want to go chasing no fireflies. Mm-hmm. It must have been them rustlers, but they got away. I reckon we scared them so much they never won't be back. Yeah. Yep. And them rustlers done got chased away by us. And they was too quick for us. Uh, say, Bill... Uh, just to set your mind at rest, uh, we might as well take a jog down there at that swale you were so interested in. Of course, I know there won't be nothing there, but just to put your mind at rest, I think... No luck, huh, Bill? Ride all night and didn't find out anything. Well, I don't know. You don't know? What kind of talk is that? Ralph, I'm sure I saw somebody light a match down in that dark swale. A long, long way off, but... Uh... But Jack Jackson made a lot of noise right then. Hollered and shot his gun and got you to run in the other direction. After something that wasn't there. Is that it? Just about. But uh, how did you know? That's that? that's an old Indian trick, Bill. Setting a false trail. Well, afterwards, after we spent nearly an hour chasing around with him yelling at the top of his lungs, then he insisted we ride down through the swale. Oh, sure. And of course there was nothing there then. Well, Ralph, this whole thing doesn't look good. What are you going to do, Bill? I wish I knew. You see, Ralph, what a man thinks is one thing, but what he can prove is another. Ah. But, uh... But what? We'll follow this trail no matter what we find at the end of it. And so we got to hurry. Now, that ranger stuck to me like a burr last night. Yeah, when I heard all that hollering and shooting, I caught on and beat it. We've got to finish this deal and quick. Can't make it too soon for me. You got the papers, invoices, bills of sale and all that? Sure, sure. Everything we need. <laughs> and you can't tell them from the real thing, neither. No, I hope not. Now, I'll fix up the final details and phone you from downtown like before. And we better not meet again. The brand's okay? Uh, sure, sure. Me and my men done a good job. They all had time to set, too. The Circle Dash, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the Circle Dash. The Circle Dash. Hey, let's go back there and my Oh, I sure wish they'd hurry. Yeah, they ought to be here any minute. You said that Mr. Dark phoned from town a couple hours ago. That means him and his cow punters should have the herd drive up here right along about now. Yeah. Real lucky this fellow just happened to have this herd for sale. I don't understand, fellas. Well, Bill, you know we've been losing our cattle, and it's got so bad we ain't even got enough left to make a profit on. So Jack here, he just happened to run into this fella Dark over to town, and they got to talking, and it turned out this fella wanted to quit the cattle business and was willing to sell his whole herd to us. So pretty you're, cheap, too. Uh, you're going to buy this man's cattle? Yep. That's right, Ralph. Done took all my life savings and cash money to do it. But they're good cattle, Jack says. We need to have them to save the ranch. They're white-faced heifers, same as we already got. Uh, what 
What's this man's mark? How does he brand his cattle? The Circle Dash. Yeah, here they come. Get ready, boys. We'll run them all into them pens and keep them there overnight till they settle down. Then tomorrow we can let them out on the range. Come on, Jack. Let's go meet your friend, Mr. Dark, and get this deal finished up. The Circle Dash. I know, Ralph, I know. The Circle Dash. I looked dash. it up in my brand registry book. There's no Circle Dash brand listed there. You know, Bill, it's, it's pretty easy to take the, the J brand, mark it from the curve of the J, on up around the top and down again, and make a circle that way. Mm-hmm, put a dash clear through the circle to cover up the old ends of the J. And end up with the Circle Dash. Right. What? Well, a brother stealing cattle from his own brother. Changing the brand and then selling the same cattle back to his brother. What are we going to do now, Bill? The first thing, well, we've got to be sure we're right. We know part, but not all. And until we uh, do... Here comes Joe Jackson. Well, they're all here. Jack and the boys will run them into the pens, and I'll go over and sign the papers with Mr. Dark, and we'll be... What's we'll the matter? Be... That one steer there. The one that's cut himself out of the herd. The one that's coming this way. He's looking right at you, Joe. Maybe he doesn't like you. Maybe. Maybe he does like me. Why, sure. That's Ferdinand. What? Ferdinand. A steer I bottle raised. Make a regular pet of him. And ever since then, he's Get back been... there! No! Oh, get back! Well, Jack's turned him in. I can see his brand mark now. Circle Dash. He's one of Dark's herd. Huh. Man's eyes will sure played tricks on him. Could have sworn that was old Ferdinand. Hey, trouble over to the pens. They must have a bad critter on their hands. A troublemaker. Sure looks like it. Ralph and I'll ride over and see if we can lend a hand. Uh, see what's up, anyway. Thanks. Wish you would. It's getting so dusty with all these doggies milling around, you can't hardly see anything. Clear. Besides, look like Mr. Dark's riding this way. I can sign them final papers and pay him his money. We'll check the corrals. Uh, come on, Ralph. Uh, looks like they got a real rough one on their hands. Yeah, let's go. One bad steer can make plenty of trouble in the pen. Make all the other steers go wild and crazy. Come on. Help Jack calm them critters down. Well, here comes Mr. Dark. Wants his money, I suppose. <laughs> Still can't get it out of my head that that steer I seen was Ferdinand. Of course, it couldn't be, I guess. It couldn't be. Howdy, Mr. Dark. Hi. Hi, Mr. Dark. Uh, Mr., huh? We're mighty formal today, ain't we? Yeah. Them critters sure stirs up the dust. Can't hardly see no how. Yes. Well, I guess you want your money. Yeah, we might as well settle up, Jack. And don't Jack. forget our deal. Why, Mr. Dark, you huh? pay me half and you pocket the other half, and that dumb brother of yours will never know the difference. But I'm... All you gotta do is sign these fake papers so it'll look legal and proper. Just sign on the dotted line so it'll... so I can clear out. Well, come on, Jack. Put your moniker on these here papers. All right. All right, Dark. I'll... I'll sign. It's all the evidence I need. Quit the I can just sign. Yeah, give me the invoices. What's the matter, Mr. Dark? Why, why you, you signed that there paper with your right hand. And, and Jack is left-handed. You ain't Jack. No, I'm not. I'm his dumb brother, and thanks to your mistake, I found out the saddest thing in my life. What What? What are you going to do? What I have to do. Joe, we need your help. That big steer has gone plumb loco. He's tearing the chutes apart. We can't get him stuck. My own brother. Look out, Jack. He's coming your way. Jack, Jack's in danger. Those cattle will stampede if that steer smashes down the fence. Look out. There they go. Run, Jack. Run for your life. He's going to be trampled to death. Jack, watch out. I'm coming, Jack. Jack, I'm coming. What are we going to do now, Bill? Stay put, I guess. No human being can stop those cattle when they're on the rampage. Yeah, they run one way, then the other. Yeah, they've gone crazy with fear. One bad steer started the whole thing. Broke down the fence, and then they all followed. Yeah. Well, we're safe here on this loading platform. Nothing to do but wait. And... Ralph. What is it? Look over there. Through the dust. Isn't that Jack? Looks like him. Oh, no. He's on the ground. He must have been hurt when the steers broke through the corral. Right by the gate when they broke through, but, but I thought he got out of the way. Oh, looks like he didn't quite make it. He must be hurt. He's trying to get up, but he falls back oh, down. Oh, he's time. hurt bad, Bill. Well, we've got to get over there. And, it's and too help late. Him. It's too late, Bill. The cattle are returning now. The whole herd's heading straight for Jack. There's his brother. There's Joe oh, in no. front of the herd and between them and Jack. The cattle are coming Joe's fast. He's by the side now. He's reached the brother. Yeah. 
Here comes the whole herd of cattle. They're stampeding straight for the two brothers. Here they come. Here they come. Did you talk to the doctor? Yes, Jack. You're doing all he can. We know that. Waiting here. Here in the hospital, while he's in that room there. And you know that when he, when he saw I couldn't get out of the way of that stampede, he, he ran and threw himself on top of me. Yeah, yeah we, we saw it happen, Jack. Well, he could have gotten away, but he was willing to risk his own life to try to save mine. Oh, and after what I'd done to him. Oh, when will a doctor let us know? Uh, Joe's hurt pretty bad. I thought I'd be smart. I'd chase those cattle with a copter and wear them out so they'd stay put. Then I'd herd them all by myself at night to where Dark was waiting for me. Yeah, what did Dark do? Yeah, he had a big furniture van with a ramp. And we'd drive the cattle in and he'd move them to a part of the ranch where only him and I knew. Well, there's moving vans going through here in the state highway all the time, so nobody had... But uh, Joe... Well, Joe, he, he trusted me, of course. I'd always tell him I'd search that corner of the ranch, so, well, he never went out there. And all that time, Joe's cattle, your cattle never left your own ranch? No. And then we changed the brands, and, and well, now Joe's laying in that room, and well, here I am. Oh, there's the doctor, Jack. He says you can go in now. Joe? Hi. Joe, are you... Are you are I'll you, make it. Joe, can... Well, can you ever... I mean, I, I'm really sorry for what I, what I did. Now, Jack, you're my brother, aren't you? Well, yes. I suppose, suppose I am. But right now, I don't, I don't deserve to be. Joe, there's... There was always one thing that was... Well, it was different about us since we've growed up. Remember, remember when we was youngins, Joe? How we used to go together down the lane? Yeah, sure, sure, I remember. Well, every, every Sunday. And, and you remember where we went? Yeah, of course I do. Well, well, that's where I ain't been going. Joe, get well quick, will you? Well, we gotta start visiting that place, that church, again, together. <laughs> And that's how one cattle rustler rustled himself into a place where God could speak to him. Well, see you next week for more adventure with 